enjoying Bubba Wallace. Oh. Watch this. He heaves that baby up into the stands. Game over. If we get this race going, Bubba's not going to have any arm left. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bubba, Bubba's got a nice, he throws a nice football, but wait till you see Corey LaJoy. Now, wait a minute. Sir, you don't get to keep that. <laughs> yeah, you you do get throw to throw it back. Oh, it'll come back. <laughs> Here it's coming. It's coming. Here we go. He's got an arm. That's a bullet. And there, that is. And Ooh. there you go. <laughs> They're still at it. That, uh, that LaJoy's kid's got an arm. Oh, watch him. He can, he can heave that ball. It's going to be tough for one of those fans to get it back over the fence from, from there. 20 rows or 10 rows up. We got a front row seat to this football game going on in the front stretch here. I want the scouting report. Which one of those guys is going to be your first round draft pick? I'm going I'm to pick Corey for sure. I think he's got a, he can make it to about halfway up with the, with the old lefty. So I'm liking Corey on this one. Well, now we know the rest of the story. Uh, Corey LaJoy's dad, Randy, multiple Bush Series champ of NASCAR. Uh, we're longtime friends. He texted me, and look at that lefty throwing arm. Uh, Randy LaJoy has texted that Jim Kelly taught Corey how to throw those tight spirals. Well, I mean, you get first you got he's got a good gun on him, but he had a great teacher to go along with it. There you go. <laughs> he, he learned well. Brown a winner, but this, well, this is not the winner. I've never been wrecked by a record. <laughs> Natalie Decker trying, try, they're trying to push Natalie Decker off the track after being involved in an incident, and then. I, just her onto it. I think she wanted to turn on the pit road, and the record driver didn't realize that. And she was trying to hit the brakes, and he was on the gas. He was on the gas. Yeah. That's Joey. It's scared. I th he said, "Do you want to go?" I said, "Yes, I'm here." But then he runs away. So, what was the altercation on track that led to it? Uh, I, uh, I I got close off of turn four. It looks like. We got together, and, and it looks like collateral damage. He, he blew a tire, but, I mean, he would probably say, ah, yeah, it's your track racing. song for me first but I was gonna be DMX and this is my beautiful bride Taylor how's everybody doing tonight wait 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 no 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 we can do better than that it's Bristol how's everybody doing I'm Matt Benedetto, driver of the number 32 EJ Wade construction Ford Fusion thanks guys see Bubba Wallace 43 car, he's out of the race car. I believe he's looking at us. Bubba. That says it all right there. <laughs> Staring us down. Making me uncomfortable. <laughs> that was funny. But overall, not a bad day for a body armor Ford Mustang. You know, just two solid races here at Charlotte. Just need to find a little bit more speed. But we're right there. I'm, I'm uh, really proud of this team. Yeah, getting close. It's yeah. coming. Ryan Blaney, third tonight. Good run tonight for Blaney. Tough to do with those masks, I'll tell you. Kyle Busch, 48 career wins, and what a career it is already. The 2015 Cup Series champion. <laughs> Let's go to Rutledge Wood. All right, right behind you, you can see Noah Gregson. What's on his head? Uh, Sharkhead, he's been out here in the rain. I don't know if he's trying to find a puddle to swim in or what. Is that what it takes to get an interview these days? I guess so. I think he's waiting on you. L Land shark. <laughs> Land shark. Hey, I, I, Chris mentioned feast or famine in regards to John Hunter Neiman. Check course got a couple of wins this season. Six top fives, but seven finishes of 18th or worse. Richmond International Raceway. Well, whether it's on four wheels or on uh, two feet with four wheels apiece. We're ready to qualify for the NASCAR Nationwide Series. That is Morgan Shepard, driver the number 89. He will go out 22nd Ooh, Ooh. this afternoon. Morgan got loose. <laughs> well, he hit a stone. It was a pretty good size one. It was tough battling our number one Chevy. Uh, the Monster Energy team's doing a good job. That one's tough. I really wanted to beat him. I was going to wreck him. I was, I was wanting to stay close enough so that when we took the white, I was just going to drive straight into three and four. I mean, he's already won. He figured he can give a little love to his brother. 
No. Okay. Older brother, especially. I wanted that one bad. I feel like him right now. I'm all like, Arr! I'm all mad because I didn't win. But he told me in victory lane, and I told him, I was like, you can't tell people that you're going to wreck them before you do it because when roles are reversed, that person's going to wreck you because you've already told them that you were going to wreck them. <laughs> so, um, so I guess if I'm ever running second to Kurt, I'm going to wreck him. <laughs> Uh, but you know, it's just, um, I don't know. I, it, I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. Tony, would you be part of the Tooth Fairy Squad? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. We're glad to have you on the squad. Yay. You gotta ask first and foremost, tell us what happened out there to start the incident. You know, it's, uh, I'm still trying to work that out myself. Um, I started coming down to get into the corner and all of a sudden I feel the 75 right straight into my left rear. I mean, I can't act surprised. Dude was driving like a lobotomized starfish all day. We were before a lap, 150. He had hit me three separate times before that, just running around. I was clearly faster than him. He drives off into me getting in the left rear and ruins what was a perfectly good truck stage. So it's a hell of a pillow swallow for our Legion travel team, but we're going to get these trucks back together. We're going to uh, head off to our next Camp World Series truck race, and this GS team is going to rally. We are not going to let this stupid crap get us down. People that are on this thing, all hours of the day, and more importantly, all hours of the night. I think my <laughs> wife is about to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to settle in, get in line, and apparently some of them boys in the back didn't understand that. Jimmy, I don't know what's happened to Jimmy. I think he had a restroom break. <laughs> We've had to reboot the whole game because Jimmy was was out and about. But uh, we're back quarantine. We're going green, boys, off the of four. Get ready. All right. Well, you're on a good uh -oh. tire strategy right now. Um, you know, you got only seven laps since the last time you came down pit road, so you got to feel pretty good about where you're sitting right now. Yeah, the problem is I took two tires, and uh -oh. then when I did that, I slid through the box. How many times he's done that when the old crew chief, old Larry Mack, calls two tires, and then the, the dumb driver slides through the box and ruins his whole strategy? <laughs> That's what just happened. That was my whole career, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't just a caution, boys. That was a melee parking lot on the back straightaway. A bunch of cars were in it. Plan worked. Strategy, me and Denny were riding around in the back. Worked just like it planned. I tell you what, though, I don't know. We, we're still under green. There wasn't a caution. That was the problem with the caution. There wasn't a caution. So right oh. now I'm trying to catch up. You guys are bothering me. I'm sorry. We'll let you Sorry. go. Easier said than done. Looked like Clint maybe overshot it a little bit. There's, oh, there's that pit sign. Yep. Come on, man! <laughs> hey, Clint, you missed that sign in that box, buddy. Why well, can't get used to driving through somebody's <laughs> car to find it? Can't find the box. Boy, Where I messed that go? up bad. Clint, you've been driving oh. through people's cars your entire career. <laughs> Larry, oh, come, come on, boys. The sign wasn't that was, there. That was a I'm, low blow, Larry. I, hey, what didn't come from me, though, Boyer? Hey, Clint, you're 24th. You've fallen off two seconds. Why don't you hit pit road and make me look like I know what the hell I'm talking about? <laughs> because I'm afraid you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, don't, yes. don't second guess the crew chief on the box there, driver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and fresh tires will feel off Sling the good, shot Clint. engage, boys. Here <laughs> in, we go. In case you didn't know, oh, there's, there's a bunch of pit stops happening, Clint. Oh, don't run into the 42. I think you might be coming to pit really road. Are they really pitting? Yeah. yeah, there's some boys on pit road, by the way. Oh, so Larry wasn't full of bull. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what he was talking about. All right, from now on, Jeff, you're fired. Larry, you're in. I, I'm listening from now on. <laughs> hey, Clint, when you come off the racetrack, I want you to find the pace car and hit it. That'd be the only thing you hadn't hit during this race. <laughs> oh, Harry Hogg, Days of Thunder, wonderful. <laughs> Kyle Larson picked up a few spots, then there goes Boyer again. <laughs> Boys, the wheels have come off. <laughs> the good news is, Clint, you still qualify for the main event. Yeah, my uh, my give a damn broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Second caution and oh, Clint no, Boyer. What happened? I got bubbled. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gosh, there's that. Gosh, man, oh, this is worse than real life. These guys forget his 150 lap race. Come on, Bubba! <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> oh, no! There you have it. No! Oh, it's blowed up! 
Oh, are you blowed up, Boyer? Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. You probably should have got out from behind him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. I'm not, <laughs> You're I'm what? not laughing. I think I, oh, man, Larry, what happened? Well, you didn't pit when I told you to pit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're seeing Darrell Wallace Jr., Bubba Wallace, who we have seen this before in a rain delay situation. He's gone out and played catch with the fans. Now this is tough because he's got to throw the football over the catch fence to get it up to the grandstands. And he did. And so now they're going to have a little more fun with the fans here at Daytona. What a great way to spend oh, the time. Now, we mentioned man. the catch bench is tough. Did you see Bubba's reaction? Oh, too? yeah. He Bubba's went got down. it over. There we go. Not a tight spiral, but at least it made it up into the grandstands. Now, good thing it's not a windy day. That thing was not going to cut through the breeze. Here, you see the defender. He gets his hand up, the defender being the 25-foot chain link fence, and he's going to knock this one right out of the air. It appeared, it appeared that the pass rush was coming. He had to get rid of it quickly. <laughs>